it looks like it's time for another Mandarin secret. The hint of this secret is mom versus horse. Hmm, that's an interesting one. This secret is actually similar to another one that we saw earlier. Do you remember how we said speaking Mandarin is a lot like singing? Because the Chinese language has tones just like musical notes. These tones are quite important. So let's take a closer look at the four tones we learned last time. The first tone, yi shen, is a high flat tone. It sounds like this. Da. In English, we use a similar tone when we say um. The second tone, er shen, has a rising tone. So you might notice a slight tilt of your head upwards when you say this tone. It sounds like this. Da. It's similar to when we say what in English. The third tone, san shen, is a little trickier. It follows a check mark sign by falling down first before going back up. It sounds like this. Da. In English, we use a similar tone when we say, well. The fourth tone, si shen, has a falling tone. It sounds so heavy that it must fall to the ground. It sounds like this. Da. And yes, we have something similar in English, and it is my kid's favorite word. No. So why are tones important? Well, do you remember how to say mom in Chinese? Mama, which has the first flat tone. But if you're not careful and you end up using the third tone, ma, you will be calling your mom a horse. Yikes, don't worry. We'll practice many times so we don't end up upsetting our moms. The hint of this secret is pictures. Have you ever wondered where Mandarin words came from? A long, long time ago, before people could write, they drew pictures. Over time, the pictures became simpler and simpler until they became the words we know of today. The Chinese characters formed this way are called xiang xing zi or picture characters. Ren happens to be one of those characters. It started out as a picture of a person with the head on top and two legs, almost like he's walking. You guessed it, it's time for another Mandarin secret. The hint of this secret is compound words. In English, we sometimes form new words by putting together two or more words, like fireman or classroom. We call these compound words. We have something just like that in Mandarin, and we call them hui yi zi. An example of a hui yi zi is the character nan. It is made up of two characters. The top part is a harvest field called tian. Tian is a xiang xing zi or a picture character. Tian looks like a squarish field where we can plant wheat or rice. The bottom part of nan is called li, which means strength or power. It is also a xiang xing zi that came from a plowing tool used for farming. So why is the character nan made up from tian and li? In ancient times, the Chinese people were mostly farmers and almost every man labored very hard in the fields, planting seeds and harvesting the land. Hence the word for male, nan, represented those men who pour out their strengths in the fields 
in order to grow food for their families.